This is one of the scariest things ever caught on camera. Did you see it? If not look again. What the freak is that? Bloody hell mate, I'm gonna need a cuppa after that. You know, it's been a while since we've gone ahead and done one of these. I'm talking about a try not to get scared challenge. This morning I just woke up and I noticed that my blood pressure was nice and low. My heart rate not elevated whatsoever, so I need to change that. Try not to get scared challenge. So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to a try not to get scared challenge. I've shown that logo like four times already in this video. Oh man, I always love doing this stuff guys. I got you involved once again. Most of you guys who follow me over on Twitter know exactly what I'm talking about. By the way, this is my handle, you can follow me. I posted out a tweet saying I was gonna be recording a scary reaction based video and I want to keep this one more towards TikTok videos more so. App seems popular, therefore probably going to have the most submissions and weird things on there. You know what? I feel like I've spoken enough time at this intro. I've wasted your time, okay? It's time we get to those scary clips. Smash that like button. Let's do this. Saw this on TikTok. Could imagine how scary this would have been. I'm seeing text on screen and I already know they're going to use some kind of voice on this thing. I bet it's going to be the female one. Ding dong ditching. <laughs> Almost In do skin it. suit. Crawling. Bro, he's just wearing a, a onesie though. Okay, so he knocks the door, runs Die out. Die away just in time. Man, what is this? Dude's like, what the freak? Dude's the whole huge. Family, the whole family came out trying to figure out who knocked the door. Wait, why is the music just kicked in right now? He's running back. Uh, knocking the door again, running out. Gotta be weird for the people in that room. Bro, you just being, oh, he stands down there. This, if he runs at him, this is great. Hold up. Uh, Get wait. over here. <laughs> what the freak? Not scary, but you know, uh, well, it, it was what it was. Dude just ran in a suit of some people. All right, well, we got creepy music on this one. Wait, are they? Okay, wait, what's going on here? Are they real? Hold up a minute. Why don't they look right? Oh, wait, are they wearing masks right now? Oh, <laughs> wait. Wait. Yes, they are. I, my brain is like going back and forth. They always gotta do those public appearances. Maybe when mom says like, you pull those faces too much, your face stays like that. We, we might have proof right here. Scared level, very, very minimal. This one, a little bit weird, but I wouldn't say it's like scary or anything like that. This is an ostrich egg. All right, thanks. Viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. XQZ call on camera go- What? <laughs> Everyone's gotta eat at some point, right? Like, they, they gotta get- they gotta make that trek at some point in their life. I was traumatized after this! Yo, what? <laughs> Bro, I think your trousers were traumatized after that one. Hello, puppy. Hey, you need to stop staring at my dog like that. Hey, your dog need to stop walking around with all that ass. Hello, my name's Quay. This is definitely gonna be a try not to laugh challenge. I'm feeling it. It's a fucking robbery. Nobody fucking move. Hey. What the hell are you doing? That's probably gonna work quite well. my territory. You know what, bro? Keep your money. All of this is weirdest. Imagine someone breaking into your house. You're just weirding them out and they're like, all right, man, I'm in the wrong job. You're right. You're right. I shouldn't be doing this. Bro, you just found a one up. Why are you screaming for? Well, looks like I won't be playing any VR tonight. Look at your room space though, man. You got that space, you still got that PSVR though. He's going in. What he's, I don't know. Okay, what do you mean? Uh, yeah, I ain't gonna Hey, we need to close up on that one, sir. You see him standing there? Yeah, okay, we've seen it now. He's out, he's out. He's out, look at that. Look at that dude standing there. Think about these sort of things, like, I can easily replicate this myself. Check this out, guys. <laughs> what I will say is the concept of having some, like, VR goggle or just anything obstructing your view and then just not being able to see your surroundings and imagining stuff like that going on, that concept is definitely really creepy to me. It still freaks me out sometimes to this day. Hey, hold up. Hey, who's having fun on the swing at this hour? Them things are going wild, man. <laughs> <laughs> that really got me. That literally made my lower back pop. <laughs> I felt that one. I ain't, that's that's hands down the scariest one I have seen so far. And they got me like that. Teams the third. Listen, I may have asked for it. 
but I still want to look tough, you know? Okay, that was a good one. Did not expect that coming whatsoever. <laughs> Test to see if you have thalassophobia. Isn't that like the fear of things underneath uh, the wall or something you can't see? Okay, that's a bit weird. I ain't gonna lie, I'm seeing that. Okay, that, that one makes me feel a bit uncomfortable. I find the image before this one worse, though. Now, I'm finding the one before that much worse. Hold up. Yeah. Yeah, nah, that's it. That's it. That's it. What are you looking at, sir? But he's literally found the world's eyeball. You know what I find creepy the most? It isn't stuff like, uh, hang on, let me scroll back. Things like this, they're weird, but I don't like it when you can see the obstructions. Like, you see how you can see this going down? Staring at this image gives my head fuzzies, man. Just the thought of this one. Especially the fact that you can see this dude's pumping out a light, probably from like some headgear or something. But if there was no light, you would not be able to see anything down there. It's like when you see boats down at the bottom of the ocean, like huge boats. That is just, that is not it for me, man. That scares me. Do I have philosophobia? I, I don't know. I don't think so. I got something else going on. Brown didn't even do nothing to them. Hold on, what's this tile? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm not yeah, get the videos, videos, get the videos. Ready? Hold, hold, on, on, hold, hold on. on, hold on, wait. What's he doing? This is gonna be it. I go. Is that radio or something? <laughs> <laughs> what the heck, though? What the? What did they even just do? They just steal the radiator, put it in like some kind of shaft, like it goes flying down to the base level. Ugh, wait. Oh my gosh, yo, he's going in. Ugh. I'm gonna ask one question. Who thought this mask was a good idea? It simply says, enjoy yourself. Uh, we got the flow in. We got Pac-Man in real life. Ooh, all right, we see him, he's slimy. We got that saliva going on. All right, we stay in the shadows. Don't go out. Don't. <sighs> okay, I was waiting for the jump scare. You know something I thought about? You know we had like this phase of people making like loads of things in real life. Like we had the Mandela catalog and just people bringing like, I don't know, old internet legends to life. Why has no one made a Pokemon version where people are hunting Pokemon in the night and it's like super barbaric? You know what I'm trying to say? Anyway, let's move on. Roblox jump scare. This is literally a try not to laugh challenge. All right, hang on a moment. I take that back. You see, we've got elements. We've got sprinkled bits in here of creepiness. Ooh, liminal spaces, though. Some of those. Ooh, man. All right, I'm feeling that. You know, this stuff it still sometimes freaks me out to this day, man. Oh, all right. You know when you start feeling a bit of tingliness going on in the back of your neck and your eyes start to water a little bit more than necessary? Aiden, all right. This one, I felt that a bit. I always think weird stuff. I don't know why I always do this, bro. Like, when I drift off to sleep, I'm like, what about if someone's just, like, breaking into my house, standing in my window, staring at me, and I have to get up and look? No normal person does this. That's how I know I'm weird. It's not scary to me, but have it anyway. Stupid video is thrown on the dark. Bro, what's wrong? What? What? You've already seen it, though. Why are you reacting? What? Why well, already seen that? Hang on a second. So we had XQZ was the narrative for this one. The doll belonged to a, p a past relative. Like, is that just some made-up crap though? Like, I don't know, bro. Why they why they got a camera in the hallway like that? Why are they just why are they doing that? Why does this guy look so what's wrong with him? <laughs> I'm a spiritual person, but this is apparently the biblically accurate depiction of angels. Dang. Whoa, hang on a moment. Why has that one got so many eyes, though? How are you gonna see? Like, is that not gonna trip you out with all those? Okay, now, this this dude cannot see. There is no way. He's looking in too many places. It's just a blurred image for him. Imagine, like, dying and just be greeted like that. You just wanna, you wanna, like, die again. Peppy says it's downright horrifying. POV. You don't make sure the. Wait, what? <laughs> he called in straight up like he'd been waiting under there. He was playing spider simulator in real life and just straight up saw the opportunity. Imagine the situation that unfolds after though. So we're going to assume that this dude probably goes through the door, closes it, locks it in. Garage is also locked up. You've just messed up. The guy was outside prior, had the world at his grasp, man. He would literally do whatever he wants. Now he's stuck in a garage. You've got to get used to drinking motor oil, okay, and try and eat some of that aluminum. Scared Ryan, what would you do if this happened while you were gone? I'll move out there so fast. I don't claim any of the negative energy from this even. Wait, what, what do you mean, negative? Hold up. Ooh, okay, sometimes these videos do legitimately creep me out. We saw the door swing open, all right. Ah, yeah, this is one of those concepts, and I'm thinking it, and I'm feeling it. Why'd the door close without the man inside, though? You know what I'm trying to say? Hang on. 
Ooh, all right. I'm starting to see this. This is, okay, this is good. That was good. Demon straight up comes up the basement stairs, opens the door, stands there, forgets what the freak he came up for, so closes it and goes back down. If ghosts aren't real, then explain this. There's gonna be a jump scare. I'm traumatized. I can't do this. Scary video from the internet. All right, enough of the voices though. His lights out. Hold up. Uh, wait, what's that in your sink though? No, they got the hairspray, so it's gonna. Ooh! All right, but why did the audio have to sound like it was recorded from a phone though? Did you see it? Nah, what are you talking about? It's just a. What do you mean? Nothing in the room. What do you mean? Okay, what is this? This might. Uh, uh. Oh, ah, ah, nah, 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 because you can see the death going. Ah, he's dead. He's gone, man. Nah, nah, nah. I would never, ever dream about doing anything like that. Guy's trying to do the afterlife 100% speedrun. No, thank you. Bro, what's Sonic doing there? What? Hey, hold up. Should you not be making the next movie, though? If I saw this, I will pack my bag and move to a new country. And this dude is like, if he sees whatever's in this video, he's taking the extra steps, like literally getting on a plane. All right, first of all, sir, question number one, why do you set this up in your house? Question number two, why have you got a flashlight when you literally have like, you got lighting in your rooms though? You know, okay, oh, I see something creep up the stairs, bro. Wait, what? Hold up. You got Foxy in there, bro. Hit him with the flashlight. You got the flashlight right there. Wait, we see something in there? Uh... Alright, yeah. I'm gonna have to say, I, I might move country too. If I saw this stuff. Yeah. I'm, I, I don't want to experience that. Okay, now we're gonna check out a video from Ian Bulkweg. Probably said that wrong. Fear reversal program. What the freak is this? Alright, we see the logo. So this is gonna be one of those, like, old school VHS things, I guess. Okay, funky with it. Welcome to that. I can barely read this thing. Scientifically engineered for John Phillips. If you are not the person mentioned before, please discard this tape. Andy, all right, who are you? Are you the brother? Who are you, the father? Something like that? What the heck's going on here? All is drawing in. Nice backdrop. So, the anti fear program, I think this was called. Something like that to relieve the phobias. Ah, nice background. The next step, huh? What are you going to tell me to do? Section one, please focus on the following images. All right, we've got a Rubik's Cube. Looking a bit busted up though. Okay, why does the Coke can have eyes though? Okay, what's that supposed to be? Like a padlock or something? We know what that is, that's a vehicle. That's like the most normal image we've seen so far. Got that weird, okay, we got a wood mug trying to cosplay a tree, but for what reason, what is this? I ain't the person, but so far, I don't, I don't see the issues. I ain't gonna lie. Welcome to phase two. Please listen to the following audio. Headphones are on. Okay, the mouse just tried to communicate. No problem, no problem. Don't understand. Audio two. It's like those binaural beats, you know, guys, when they take you to another planet. What's that audio three saying? Oh, we got Morse. Oh, I don't know about Morse code. I don't know. Listen, man, falling on deaf ears right now. No. I ain't getting it, sir. I ain't getting it. Okay, get out your work packet that we gave you and write down your answers to the following. Who is this? Uh, oh, we got those, like, creepy faces. Who is this? John Phillips. His name has appeared twice. Again. Okay, what are we trying to get out with this? I don't get it. <laughs> Hey, John Phillips, what's going on with your proportions, buddy? Uh... I still see him back there. I... Hey, John Phillips, what are you doing back there? Please send the works... Wait, what? Hold up. No, 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 no. You don't do this. Because I don't know what just happened. They cut out the address to send it to you. Thank you. We, we got to talk about John Phillips back there? The final phase. Wait, hold up. What? Um... You will need to pay attention, okay? I got you, I got you. Let's get it. What's the final phase? Yeah, then leave it. Wait, hold up. Hold up. One more thing. What am I seeing? Is this you? 
I think they used the wrong image. <laughs> Straight up, imagine that though. They're trying to make the scary tape and then they accidentally use like the image two instead of three, which actually had my face and they're like, oh crap, we just messed up. Interesting little concept. The VHS star for this look really good too. Kind of nailing that old school feel. So you know what, bro? I'm going to give you the spotlight, guys. You want to check it out? There you go. Last one we're going to check out is by Bleen's Fire. It's called Strange Tape. City 14? All right, you're going to need to tell me what the city's all about though. Uh, hey, how you doing? What were you up to right there? This, okay, this looks kind of good with the animation. What happens when you die in City 14? Wait, hold up. We paused that. Take that back. Upon death in City 14, a cremator will carry you to a local human decompiling shelter. Upon arrival, all limbs, hair, and... Wait, hold up. Removed and put in separate box apart from the torso and head, and your remaining blood will be moved to the nearest hydration system, where it will thoroughly be filtered and cleaned to recreate the taste of water. Your brain will then be extracted from your head. All memories will fade. It is unknown as to what... Wait, what is this place? Hold up. City 14? They put this man in the restraints like that. Some say it's only an electrical Wait. disturbance, but gas me. Whoa. There's an intelligence in there somewhere. Wait, what's going on? City 14 needs you. Oh, this is actually creepy, though. Like a creepy idea. Console watches over us. Console takes us to pretty places. Yeah, and it takes your brain when you die. Everyone loves console. We are happy. We are safe. Yeah, that's what it wants you to believe. Do you believe it? Do you love console? Wait, hold up. Does he say yes or no, though? Who's console? Let me tell you something. Break it. I'm here to help you, but only because I have to. You've been tagged by the console, Jake. Or oh, the console, Jake. I don't know if that's like a name. All I know is that you need to leave City 14. Okay. I'm feeling that. We are in this together. Who? Who's talking to me right now? I hope you can forgive me. I don't know if I can, sir. Don't even know who you are. Why I've been roped in here. I just want to be free. So maybe he's trying to break out of City 14. Good luck. Start running. Guys. Don't ever go to City 14 if you get the chance. This was the weirdest hybrid video I think I've ever done. It was like, try not to get scared at certain points, but then it was like 85% memes. Either way, guys, that is gonna do it. So that was looking at basically some TikTok horror stuff, some YouTube things scattered in there as well. What I tend to notice is that the TikTok stuff was just for the most part less scary, which is kind of interesting because a lot of people get freaked out by that nowadays. I might want to revisit this at some point, genuinely looking for scarier videos rather than like things you could easily sell that don't look too good. If you guys happen to want to follow or participate in any of the other challenges where I ask you guys for submissions, you can follow my handle right there. But that's going to do it for this one. This was a very interesting video to say the least, and hopefully you guys did enjoy it either way. If you did, why not drop me that like for eating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy. My blood pressure remains low for this one. Challenge failed. <laughs>